<clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Platypi franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the Platypi, we blew out the Moon Stars in a game that wasn't even close. 9 1 the final score as our pitching showed up, whereas the Moon Stars pitching did not. Zumar had five quali uh, five good innings, giving up one earned run, and then we had four combined shutout innings out of the bullpen from mop-up men Chance Lauderbury and Hugh Jacobs to get us the victory, and our offense showed out. Without hitting a home run, I might add, we scored those nine runs without the use of a home run. It's the second time this year we've done that, as we also didn't hit a home run in the first game of the year where we also scored nine runs. And that sets us up for today's matchup. It's our second time through the rotation now. Lee, we are taking on our division rivals, the Grapplers, for the first time here in the series. We come in at 3-1. Ace Von Asen on the mound. He's 1-0 with a 129 ERA and a 171 whip. And on the mound for the Grapplers is rookie lefty Rotonda Black, who got roughed up in her debut, taking the loss, giving up an 810 ERA and an 060 whip. But she did pick up Stimulated, so good for her. She's already developed a second trade here, and it's only her second career start. Grapplers come into the matchup at 2-2, two and two, sitting right now in third place, a full game out of first. Lineup for today's game, leading off at second base, is going to be locked in Kitty Kaufman, batting second, right fielder Muffin Studwick, batting third, locked in left fielder Rory Crowds, batting fourth, locked in third baseman Beefcake McStevens, batting fifth is catcher today, Hera O'Wugliams, batting sixth is the tenth shortstop Charlie Lopez, batting seventh is first baseman Scooter Sandbrick, batting eighth is La tenth center fielder Willie Bacon, and batting ninth is the pitcher Ace Von Asen. Lineup for the Grapplers, leading off at third base is locked in Allie Find Air, batting second locked in first baseman Devin Godsendez, batting third tense left fielder Jovan Bambino, batting fourth is right fielder Kelby King, batting fifth second baseman today Ian Fielder, batting sixth is the shortstop Eduardo Electro, batting seventh is center fielder Jefe Manzano, batting eighth is catcher Grizz Signoro, and batting ninth is the pitcher Black. Let's jump into it and have some fun. Heading to the Bingata Bowl here as we go back out on the road here for another road trip. And I've noticed here in the first couple, uh, in the first portion of the year, it seems to be a lot of road games. Uh, very rarely do we go back to Colonial Plaza, unfortunately. Oh. Let's get it on here at Bingata Bowl. Let's go. Kaufman leading off, followed by Studwick and Crowds against rookie Rotonda Black. Kaufman leading off, second baseman's locked in, bad ball hitter active, hitting 529. Five RBIs here on the year. Taking a look at the rookie Black's numbers in her in her debut. The rookie took the loss, giving up four runs, three of them earned, and only three and a third innings pitched. 810 ERA with an 060 whip. She gave up a total of two hits, one of them being a home run, though, and she also hit a batter. Batting average against 154 with three strikeouts. And she got no offensive run support to speak of. Heater away is called strike. 0 1 as we are underway. Heater taken low, 1 on 1. Football down in the way is blooped the left center field. That's going to hang up there for the center fielder, DeMarco. Our Manzano today, actually. He'll put it away, 1 down. Next up, right fielder, Muffin Studwick, hitting 368. No homers, no RBIs. Fastball hitter active for Studwick. He went 1 for 4 last game. Also drew a walk. Heater away is outside from Black, ball one. Well, down in the way is low and outside, 2-0. Heater up, blasted to right field. Under it, though, was Studwick. Therefore, it is Kelby King, and she will put it away, two down. Base is empty for Rory Crowds. Left fielder is locked in in the three slot today, hitting 7-14 on the year. Five RBIs and inside pitch active. Better up and away, strike called in the corner, 0-1. Cutter down in the way, low, 1-1. One, one. Cutter up, taken high, 2-1. Fastball to knees, turned on by crowds deep to left center field, carrying well, and that ball has been sent to the land down under as Rory Crowds hits his first home run here in the series as that is going to put us on the board. It is 1-0. Crikey, he got all of that one. Next up, third baseman Beefcake McStevens. He's locked in. Powers lefty and high pitch active, hitting 6-11 with one homer, five RBIs. And, of course, the home run call is inspired by the fact that platypi are only n indigenous to Australia. So it's nice to incorporate that heritage into their home run call. 
and thank you for all the suggestions over on YouTube here and on Twitch, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you like the call. Beefcake ready. Here we go. Eater weighs a strike. Go one. Eater up the way. Line to first. Right at God send us. That ends the inning. But we're on the board. Home run by Rory Crowds in the first. Bottom one. Find air. God send us. And Bambino do up against Ace Von Asen. AVA taking the mound. Find air leading off. Third baseman's locked in. Hitting 444 with three homers. Five RBIs here on the season. Ace in his debut and in the opening day start got the win. He went seven quality innings, giving up one earned run. Well, 11 hits, one walk, two strikeouts. He has a batting average against the 367, a whip of 129, a whip of 171, and an ERA of 129 with a 1 0 record. As he, unlike Rotonda Black, got ample run support in his start. Heater up and ways a called strike here to find air, 0 1. Go about down and in, strike called, it's 0 2. Okay, collector activates. He's him down in the way. Blew it by her strike three. First punch out for ABA. One down, and here's first baseman locked in Devin Godsendez, hitting 421. Two RBIs on the air, no homers yet. Slide down and in. That's fouled off, 0 1. He's him up in the way. That's high, 1 and 1. Forcing him down in the way. Check swing the strike, 1 and 2. Okay, collector activates, curveball down, chased and fouled off. Still one and two. Zimmer up. Blasted by Godsendez right of center. That was a hanger, and it is long gone, as that is a big old time grapple there from the grapplers. As we they take that one out over the center field wall. First homer of the year for Godsendez. We're all tied up at one. Next up, tense left fielder Jovan Bambino hitting 235 as the Italian Stallion digs in. Yet to drive in a run or an RBI here through the first eighth of the season. Heater up and away, that's a strike. 0 1. Come on down. That's fouled off. 0 2. You see up. Taking high. 1 and 2. Change it down and away. Low. 2 2. Slider down, taking low, full count. Where's he moving away? Chase lined in the left center field though, bacon over on the run, dives and cuts it off. That'll be down for a single. Good job, Willie, keeping in front of you. Back to back hits here, makes AVA tense as Bambino gets back to New Tremojo, and that'll bring up right fielder Kelby King. Mind gamer active, hitting 353 with two homers and five RBIs. He's going down on the first pitch, taking low. Bad jumps active over at first base, so don't expect Bambino to steal. Peter up and in. Foul back, one on one. Well, down and in, foul off, one and two. Slider from the way, outside, two two. And down on the way, chased it, blooped over third. Beefcake dives, nice catch in foul territory, two down. Base is empty for a runner at first, two down, sorry, for second baseman utility infielder Ian Fielder getting the start today over De La Cruz, hitting 412 with three RBIs here on the season. Curveball middle in on the first one is ripped hard and foul, 0 1. He's him down in the way. That's chopped to short. Lopez to his left cuts it off, on to first, in time to end the inning. But a big time home run as the grapplers grapple one out there off the bat of God Sendez. To the second, we're all tied up at one. Owugliums, Lopez, and Sambrick do up. Owugliums leading off, catcher in the five slot today with off speed hitter active, hitting 214. No homers, no RBIs yet on the year. Slow start here for Hera. Looking to turn it around against the rookie pitcher. Heater up and away, strike called from Black, 0 1. Heater up and in is off the plate inside, 1 1. Heater away, line back to Black who picks it out of the air, 1 down. Shortstop Charlie Lopez up next. He's tense with Ace Exterminator active against the rookie. Hitting 467 with six RBIs on the year, but he did make an error in the field last game, so that's why he's tense. Peter up and in is inside. Ball one. Slider up. Foul back over the screen. One and one. Curveball from away. Line to right center field. That is going to get down and roll, roll, roll all the way to the wall as Manzano cuts it off just before the fence. That'll be a double for Lopez. 
He's on with one down, putting himself in the scoring position for Scooter Sandbrick, who unfortunately has RBI zero activate because of that. Hitting 250 on the air, no homers, no RBIs yet for Scooter. Hitting two for eight on the season. Curveball ball in there at the knees, 0-1, Black gets ahead. Peter of an end jammed in the hole short right at Electro, who makes the throw to first in time, two down. Lopez advances to third on the play. Sandbrick now tenths, now to bring up center fielder Willie Bacon, who is already tenths. Outside pitch active, hitting two for eight, or three for 12 on the air with one RBI. Outside pitch active, really gonna try and drive him home. Slider down, taken low on the inside portion, ball one. Better up, chased it high out of the zone, one one. Slider away, grounder to second, right at fielder, on to first, that ends the inning. Platify strand a runner at third, bottom two. We're still tied at one. Electro, Manzano, and Signoro do up. Here's shortstop Eduardo Electro. He's hitless on the year, getting the start today because the infielder is playing second base. Fastball hitter is active. Double down and in on the first one. Strike called at the knees, 0 1. Change it down in the way. Check low, 1 on 1. You see him ripping in. Ground and then a hold of second. Backhanded by Coffin to her right. On to first, one down. F.A. Manzano up next. Center fielder hitting the 333 on the year. Getting the start over Marco DeMarco out there in the center. You see him ripping away on the first one. Check strike. Go one. Change it down and then. Out in front of it, 0-2. Okay, collector activates heater up and in. Chased it, strike three. Second punch out for ABA. As he hits 100 on the gun, two down, and here's the catcher, veteran Gris Signoro, hitting an even 500 on the year with an RBI. Slider away on the first one. On the corner, on the edge, 0 1. Forcing it down and in. Blew it by him, 0 2. Signoro behind. Change it up and in. Foul off, 0 and 2 still. Well, down in the way. Foul off. Still 0 2. Two seamer up in the way. Whiffed on it. Strike three. Third punch out for ABA, and that ends the inning. Back to back K's to silence it. 1 2 3 inning for him to the third. We're still tied at one. ABA will lead us off, and we're back to the top of the Platify lineup with Kaufman and Sedwick. 1 1 so far. ABA leading off. Pitcher hitting an even 1 for 4 here on the air. We're going to get it started against Rotonda. Rookie drops a slider on the outside corner, 0-1. Nice pitch there. Two-seamer away is lined to center. Back a step is Manzano, who was playing in. He'll make the catch, one down. Kitty Kaufman up next. Second baseman's locked in, 0-1 today. Two-seamer inside, strike called, 0-1. Oh in there at the knees on the two-seamer, 0-2, oh two, as K-Collector activates for black. Peter at the knees, line to left center field, and this time Kaufman timed it up, and she's on with the base hit. Speedster on with one down here in the third. Hey, one boy, welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Hopefully your day was going well today. Studwick up next, 0 for 1. Yes, there was a uh, trade of home runs in the first inning as uh, Roy Crowds went deep, and then also in the bottom half, God Sendas went deep. You did miss the call, but don't worry. There's a possibility we could get more. But Tonda Black is known for giving up home runs. <sighs> Kaufman with the speedster on it first with one down. Pitch out on the heater. Nothing doing. Slider hangs. Line to right field. And Stubbick drops that through the right side of the infield. That's two on and one down. And speaking of the man of the hour, it's Rory Krause. He homered in his first at bat. He's locked in. Black sets, fires, heater misses high, ball one. Let me know when the ads come through so I know to pause it so you don't miss the chance of it because Beefcake's on deck. You're good? Okay, here we go. 1-0. Oh. Cut her down, strike call, 1-1. One -on -one. Throw ball up and away, popped up, shallow right center field. That's a tough play for Kelby King, but she's going to get there, two down. That's going to lead two on here for Beefcake McStevens. Beefcake 0 for 1 today. He is lined out. That was left again. High pitch both active here. Heater up and in. Off the plate. Ball 1. Heater up. Ripped on the ground. Past the diving first baseman into right field. 
Runner will hold at third as it went right at King. Base is loaded, two down. Here comes Owugliums, who's 0 for 1 today. Line back to the pitcher her first time up. Base is loaded, nowhere to put her with two down. Black sets and fires, two seamer misses outside. Ball one. Peter away, nips the corner this time on the two seamer, 1 1. Cutter misses low, 2 1. Heater up, chopped on the ground, a short right at Electro though, on to first, that ends the inning as we strand the bases loaded. Bottom three, we're tied at one, Black, Find Air, and God Send is due up against AVA. Ratonda leading off, pitcher is hitless on the season, she's 0 for 1 as a batter. She only lasted three and a third innings her first go around, so I doubt she batted more than once. Change it down and then strike called, 0-1. Seamer away, that's blown by her 0-2. Okay, Collector activates for ABA. Where's him down and away? Third straight punch out for ABA, his fifth of the day, one down. Find air up next, though, for one today. Or, sorry, fourth today, fourth today. Still third in a row, though. Well, down and in, find air, rips it foul, 0-1. Seamer up and away. Strike called, it's 0-2. Slider down and away. Chopped on the ground is short. Lopez over, cuts it off. In time to first, two down. Base is empty for Godsendez. Solo homer his first time up as he blasted a high two-seamer out over the right center wall. A two-seamer cut back across right about here in the middle of the zone, right there. And Godsendez unloaded. First pitch change in middle of the zone. Fooled him on the check swing, 0-1. Curveball down and away. Out off, it's 0-2. Heater up and in. Chased it, strike three. Fifth punch out here for AVA, and that ends the inning. That's, uh, I believe, eight in a row he's set down now. Or to the fourth, it's 1-1. Lopez, Sandbrick, and Bacon do up. Arguably one of the best starting pitchers someone could have wanted. Ooh, okay. Do tell, do tell. Charlie Lopez up, shortstop doubled his first time up and then was stranded on the base pass in the second. He's still tense, despite the hit. Black throws a heater on the inside corner, 0-1. Two-seamer hits the outside corner, it's 0-2, quickly. Flyer to the knees, line to center field, and Lopez has his second hit of the day. He's 2-2. Two for two. All right, A overall. 24 years old, okay, young, 80 velo, 85 junk, 70 accuracy with tier 3 K man and tier tier 3 K collector and tier 3 uh, workhorse. Yeah, that is an ideal pitcher, especially for the build where you have tier 3 competitive traits. That is a manager's, uh, owner's wet dream right there. That is your ace. That is the unicorn you dream of to exist in the free agent pool that you could pick up at some point. You got incredibly lucky with that one, man. Don't lose him. Don't waste in his talents either. Zambrick up over one today with a ground out. You see him in there at the knees, 0 1. Curveball at the knees is lined to left center. That's going to hang up, though, for Manzano. Two down, or one down. And he's got a five pitch Mitch with all three different fastballs, a changeup, and a curve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that even the pitch types are perfect. You got a breaking ball, you got an off-speed pitch, and you got plenty of fastballs to mix in. Nice. Oh my god, you're making it even better. <laughs> you couldn't get more perfect than that. That's Cutter up and called a strike to Bacon. 0-1, oh, he flew out his first time up. That's Slider good. low, misses, 1-1. One, one. No. Peter taking low, 2-1. Peter up and in, he chased it inside, bad swing, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, Collector activates for Black. Slider hangs, middle of the zone, cracked by Willie, deep to center field, chasing Manzano back to the warning track, but he'll put it away. Two down. Lopez still hanging on to first after the leadoff single. That is going to bring up the pitcher, AVA. He's over one. Popped out his first time up. Either way, that's a strike. Oh, one. Checked high on the cutter. Good eye. One, one. Peter up, chopped at the middle of the second. Backhanded by Fielder, he just got there on to first, and that ends the inning. We stay tied at one, bottom four. It's Bambino, King, and Fielder. Hard to line up, up for the grapplers. Now 
Bambino leading off Italian Stallion singled his last time up. He is so far the last batter to reach base for the Grapplers here today as we have retired eight in a row. Change it down and in. Take him low. 1-0. Slider up and away. Outside. It's 2-0. Eater up and in. Inside. 3-0. TC me down. Strike called. 3-1. Well down and in. Chopper to the first base side. Valley AVA off the mound. Bare hands. In time to first. One down. Next up right fielder Kelby King is over one today. Slider up and away on the first one. That's fouled back. 0-1. And down and in. Low, one and one. Heater down and away. Fouled off, one and two. Okay, collector activates again. Put off and in. Fouled off, still one and two as King got a hack on it. Two seam rip away. Chased it, strike three. Six punch out for ABA. Two down. Fielder up next. He's 0 for 1. The ball away on the first one. Check strike in there as it floats in. 0-1. Oh, Heater up and in. Checked high. 1-1. One one. Good eye. Change it down and in. Chopped in the hole to short. Lopez dives to his right. Nice play, Charlie. Fires the first. Got him by a step. Nice play, Charlie. Another 1-2-3 inning for ABA. That is 11 in a row. He's set down to the fifth. We're still tied at one. Kaufman, Studwick, and Crowds do up as we got the makings of a good old-fashioned pitcher's duel here in Bingada Bowl. You love pitching. So far, this is your game. Kitty Kaufman up. The one for two with a single last at bat. She's locked in. Black sets and fires. Curveball on the inside corner. 0-1. Chased it away. Pulled on the back to the mound. Black fields it. One down. You don't love pitching. You want bombs. I know. Me too. <laughs> Stoddwick do up. One for two with a single. He poked one through the right side of the infield last time up. Fastball hitter still active. Slider nips the outside corner from Black, 0-1. Heater way, chopped the first, right at God Sendez. That's two down. Base is empty for Crowds, who homered in his first at bat and then grounded out last time up, one for two today. Heater up, taking high, ball one. Slider middle in, lined at the middle, it's a base hit, right into left center. Rory's second hit of the day, he's two for three. Runner on for Beefcake McStevens, who did single last time up, he's one for two. He's now on fire. One for two. He has power left the end. High pitch active. I'm on Beefcake. And they are going to pull Raton to black early. They do not want her to go up against him. Instead, they're going to turn it over to one of their ace relievers here as the Grafters put a lot of money into their bullpen. It is Mac Gunn, the 29 year old A plus reliever. Mac on the arrow and won a 6 ERA and a 167 whip. Seven runs given up, four earned in four appearances. Rough start to the year for him as he's appeared in all five games so far to this point, including this one. Six innings pitched, eight hits, two walks, one homer, three strikeouts, and a batting average against the 320. Mac is 29, right? Yeah, they aged him up. He was 24 back in SMB3, which was really sad. He's a really great reliever, but I get it. He's a kind of OP. High pitch active. He does lose the power versus lefty trait, though. Gunn's traits are gets ahead, and he has elite cutter. When did he get a fourth pitch? I thought he only had three. Damn. Cutter inside. That's a strike. 0-1 on the cutter. Heater up and in. Pulled by Beefcake deep to left center field. Hit well. Carrying to the wall. Off the wall. It's going to be extra bases. Crowd's around third. He's going to score on the double by Beefcake. Platypi break the scoreless tie. It's 2-1. to one. That run will be charged to Black. She is now the pitcher of record. Oglyum's up. 0 for 2. No, come on. It'll happen. Patience, young one. Patience. Harrow Oglyum's up next with the RBI chance. She grounded out with the bases loaded last time up. Gun sets the belt and fires. Cut her up. Strike called on the corner. Oh, one. oh, he doesn't have a slider. It was only up there because of Rotonda's pitch count. So he does still have his three pitches. Okay. I'm just dumb. My bad. Oh, one. Heater in there. Strike called. It's 0-2. Heater down. Chopped in the hole to short. That's a slow roller. Electro bare hands and fires. Gets her at first. And that ends the inning. Bottom five, we're up two to one after the double by Beefcake to break the tie, and we chase Black from the game. It only goes four and a third today, giving up uh, seven total hits, 
Two earned runs so far, one homer, and uh, no strikeouts. Bottom five, Electro, Manzano, and Signoro do up. Here's Electro. He's over one today, facing the locked in AVA now. Slider at the knees on the first one. That's fouled back. 0 1. Change up and in. Chased it inside. It's 0 2. Double down and in. Chased it. Strike three. Seventh punch out for ABA. One down. Manzano up next. 0 for 1. Four seamer up and away. Flew it by him on the check. 0 1. Change it down and in. Whiffed on it. It's 0 2. Two seamer down and away. Chased it. Strike three. Eighth punch out for ABA. Two down. Next up, Signoro. Catcher's 0 for 1 today. Two seamer middle in. Check strike. 0 1. Nip the inside corner there. Curveball down and away. That's a strike call, though, too. Heater up and away. Swung through it, strike three. AVA strikes out the side. He's up to nine punch outs today. 14 in a row set down. And it's an immaculate inning for the first time in any of my series here on SMB4. We threw a nine pitch inning, striking out the side on three pitches each to the sixth. It is still two to one. Lopez Sandbrick. Number 22, Charlie Lopez. I just I didn't even know that. I don't think that's an achievement in this game, is it? Because if it is, it did not activate. Hold on, let me now. I'm now I'm curious. I got to see if that's actually an achievement in this one. Bear with me. No, but of course the uh, line drive to the head with metalhead traits uh, achievement. I don't have any pictures with metalhead ever. Bunch of bullshit. Uh, fun fact, it is not an achievement in the game. I just happened to know it because it popped up on the left side. <sighs> anyway, AVA has uh, retired a consecutive 14 batters in a row now. He is at nine strikeouts, and we are up two to one, bottom of the sixth. Ace Exterminator will remain active for Lopez, who's two for two today. He has doubled and singled. Guns pitch, cutter on the inside corner. Nice pitch at the knees, 0-1. Cut up and away, line to right center field, hanging up though for King, one down. Sandberg up next, he's 10, so for two today, going to try and break through against Mac Gunn. Third ball away is skied to center, off the end of the bat on the first pitch. Therefore it is Manzano, two down. Got to bring up Willie Bacon, who's over two with a fly out and a ground out, he's 10. Outside pitch active for Willie. You know what, I think that Immaculate Inning achievement was an achievement in SMB3. It is not an achievement in SMB4 for whatever reason. Cut her down and in, that's a strike, 1-1. One one. I also know it's an achievement in all the MLB The Show games. Cut up and in, strike call, 1-2, and two. nice pitch. Peter Way's chase, bloop behind the mound. A short, picked out of the air by Electro, and that's a 1-2-3 inning for Gunn. Bottom six, that's still 2-1. to one. Gunn leads off, then find air, and God send us. There's Mac Gunn, the pitcher. He's hitless on the year, and he will not bat. Pinch hitting is at backup left fielder Biff Noggins and the third string catcher here for the Grapplers. Looking for his first hit of the year. AVA looking to keep it rolling here. Of course, he down again on the first one. Strike call, 0-1. Slider up and away. Noggins whiffs on it, 0-2. Curl down and away. Line to short, pick by Lopez. On to first, one down. Next up is Fine Air, who's 0 for 2. Third ball down and in on the first one. That's ripped to right field on the line, right at Studwick for the second out. Now to bring up God Sendez, 1 for 2 with a solo home run today. We're seeing it down and away in the first one. Strike call, 0 1. Third ball inside, checked off the plate, 1 and 1. Two seamer down and in. Line to short, one hopper. Lopez charges. Fires across the first. Another one, two, three inning for ABA. He has set down 17 batters in a row. Coming out of the bullpen is reliever Meggie Meggles as ABA is due to lead off here in the seventh with Kaufman and Studwick to follow. With how shitty our bullpen is, Ace, this is your game. Go get him. Now batting, 
Ace is locked in. He's 0 for 2 today. Come on, Ace. Pace and Maggie Meggles. Meggles throws a heater off the plate as it bounces. Ball one. And she falls behind to start her appearance. Meggles on the air. Two appearances out of the bullpen. A zero ERA and a 180 whip. One save on the air as well. She's the only reliever to have a save so far. Inning in two-thirds. Two hits given up. One walk. Two strikeouts. Batting average against 286. 1-0 -oh count. Slider to the locked-in ABA hits the inside corner, 1-1. One, one. Curveball away is popped up to left center field, sinking quickly, but Manzano gets there. One down. Coffin up next, one through with a single. Still locked in. Heater away, that's a strike, 0-1. Oh, Heater up and in is inside off the plate, 1-1. One, and one. Slider checked inside, good hold, 2-1. Heater checked inside. Good hold again. 3-1 for Kaufman. Heater at the knees. Blasted by Kaufman to right center field. On the drive. Manzano chasing after it. Dives out of his reach. It hits off the base of the wall and bounces away. Kaufman around second. Digging for third. She'll be in safely with a triple. Runner 90 feet away for Studwick. He's 1-3 for three today with a single. Fastball hitter active for Muffin here. Infield in. Trying to keep it a one-run game. Lot of people looking for some insurance as that heater misses the inside corner. Ball one. Slider hangs at the letters, and that's lined to right center. Studwick is going to drive her home. Kaufman scores. It's three to one. Nice job, Muffin. Runner on at first. One down for Rory Crowds. He singled last time up, scored a run. He's also hit a solo homer and scored a second run. He's locked in. Inside pitch active for Rory. Heater up and away, taken high. Ball one. Slider up, ripped on the ground, a short one hopper, Electro to second one on the hard grounder, fielder to first, double play, and that ends the inning. But the Platypi get one home, it's 3-1 to the bottom of the seventh, Bambino, King, and fielder, hard of the lineup coming up against AVA, who now is pitching with a two-run lead. Bambino up, one for two with a single as the Italian Stallion looks to get a rally started. Well down and in on the first one, that's a strike called at the knees, 0-1. Slider down in the way. Chop hard to third. Beefcake dives to his left. Nice pick. Fires the first in time. One down. What a play by the stud. One down, and here's Kelby King, who's over two today. Two seamer up and away in the first one. Whiffed on it. Chased outside. 0 oh, 1. Four seamer up and in. Popped her up. Shallow right center. Studwick races in. He's there. Puts it away for the second out. That's going to bring up Ian Fielder, who's 10, so for two today. Change it down the way in the first one from ABA. Strike call, 0 1. Heater up and in. Chased it, 0 2. Slider down and in. Checked low, 1 and 2. Almost got him to chase. Two seam up the way. Outside and high, 2 2. Well, down the way. Lined if grounder to short. Lopez charges. Fires across the first. 20 in a row. Set down for AVA. Another 1 2 3 inning. To the eighth. It's 3 to 1. Nick Stevens, O'Wugliams, and Lopez coming up. Beefcake leading off. He's on fire. 2 for 3 today with an RBI double and a single. High pitch remains active against Meggles here, who's unfortunately a righty. Heater at the letters, ripped deep to center field. Beefcake got all of it, and it's been sent to the land down under. Crikey, that was a bomb. Beefcake McStevens hits his second homer of the year, and the Platypi extend the lead to three. It is four to one. And now batting the catcher, number 29, Hera O'Wugliams. up next, 10, so for three today, we're going to pinch hit for Hera. She just doesn't seem to have it today. Going to go ahead and hand it over to locked in catcher Tugboat Thomas as he'll bat. Now batting, tugboat Platypi are Aussies. They are. <laughs> that was the whole inspiration behind it, of course. <laughs> tugboat on the air, hitting 538 off the bench with three RBIs. He's locked in. This was his off day. He's going to bat. He is not going to field. I will sub in Taboo okay, afterwards. Yeah, I figured you'd like it. It's a nice nod to their heritage. Slider taken low. Ball one. Slider been in, checked in there for a strike. One and one as Meggles now tense. Slider middle away, line to the gap, right center field, slicing away from Manzano. Dives and he takes it away. One down. Lopez up next, two for three. He's doubled and singled today. 
Well, that last time up is that heater's in there at the knees. I won. Heater down and then way off the plate. One and one. Couple down in the way is blooped out over second, giving chase over the diving glove of fielder. It's a base hit. Charlie's third hit of the day. He's on with one down. Scooter Sambrick do up next. He's 10, so for three today, we will pinch hit for him as well. Coming off the bench to take a crack at it, it's going to be Linda Hand. She's going to go ahead and play right field next inning, and Stubbrick's going to come in and play first base. Linda Hand hitting 167 on the air, one for six off the bench. Going to try and turn it around here against Meggles, who is tense. Slider up, chopped hard at the middle. Base hit for Linda. That was a hanger at the top of the zone. First and second now with one down. Two on for Willie Bacon. He's tense as well. 0 for 3 today. Outside pitch still active. And that's going to do it for Meggie Meggles. Coming out of the bullpen trying to slam the door is the rally stopper himself. Ace reliever, Rally Overo. Trying to live up to his name. Rally is 2-0 and on the air. He has both wins for the Grapplers staff. 426 ERA and a 111 whip in four appearances. He's appeared in every game so far. Three earned runs given up in six and a third innings. Five hits, two walks, six strikeouts, and a batting average against a 208. Lowest batting average against, most innings pitched, and most strikeouts. Can he stop the rally with Bacon at the plate? Do I have another outfielder? I do not. I just took Linda out of the game, so. <sighs> Wait, Chase can play first? Oh, he can, can't he? Oh, he could. We might be leaving Thomas in then. If I wanted to sub him off, I probably should. Hmm. Yeah, his hitting ratings are still better than Tabul's here. We could put Rodriguez in, though. But, eh, I like living dangerously. Willie, go ahead and have a shot. Curve off and in, hits the corner on the inside. 0 1. Change down and then turned on by Willie, deep to left field. Hit pretty well. And it hangs up there for Bambino to make a catch. Two down. Unlucky there. Pitcher slot due up next. We're not taking Ace out. He's pitching too well. He's on fire. 0 for 3 today. One Ace. Rally stopper still active for a rally. The ball up and away is outside. Ball one. Both runners will be charged to Meggles if they score. Peter Way lined in the hole. Base hit past the diving second baseman into right field. Runner around third is going to try it. Here's the throw home. It is laid. RBI double for AVA. It is 5 to 1. And that's his first hit today. And his first RBI of the season. Kaufman up next, tripled last time up and scored a run. She's also singled, two for four today and locked in. Bad ball hitter active with rally stopper. Peter Wade dumped over second. That's down for a base hit into the gap as Overo can't get it done. First run is charged to Meggles. Second run will be charged to him. It is seven to one. The Platypie break it open even further. Nice job, Kitty. She's now a home run shy of the cycle. Studwick up next, two for four, two singles and an RBI today. Fastball hitter still active. Obero no longer locked in. Change it down. Pulled foul out of play. 0-1. Rally what? <laughs> Rally extender, more like it. Curveball misses outside. 1-1. One, one. Curveball down. Ripped a third right at uh, find air, and that ends the inning. Looking like he has meltdown out there instead of Rally stopper. Four come home for the Platypi as we blow it open. 7-1 to the bottom of the eighth. Electro, Manzano, and Signoro do up. ADA coming back out. Here's Electro for two today. Defensive changes. We will go ahead and bring in Chase to Bull. He will play catcher for Tugboat Thomas, leaving only Cartman and Rodriguez on our bench. Now in the game, Chase to Bully. To Bully, whatever. Peter away, fouled off. I forgot he is fastball hitter. Thank God he was late. 0 1. Slider in from ABA. Line to center field. Willie Bacon coming on. Slides. Nice catch, Willie. One down. Next up, Manzano, 0 for 2 to. First pitch to Hefe, curve all away, chopper to short. Lopez charges, he'll make the play across. In time, two down. Base is empty for Signoro, he's 0 for 2 today. Two seamer up and away on the first one. Foul back, 0 1. Change it down and in. Whiffed on it, it's 0 2. Heater down in the way. Low, one and two. Curveball up and in. Fouled off, still one and two. Change it down and away. Swung through it, strike three. Tenth punch out for AVA. He hits double digits. 23 batters and retired in a row. To the ninth, it's seven to one. Crowds, McStevens and Tabuli do up. Now batting, 
Crowds leading off two for four. Solo homer and a single. Not to bully, it's to bull. They're just saying to bully because of the accent. One of the cooler traits I've seen from the community was Night Owl and Soaring Eagle. Now the way they wanted it. Nice. Night Owl, you get a boost to night games, and Soaring Eagle, I guess, is for day games. Cool. Nice. That is a nice little community trait. I'm glad they came up with that. I was surprised that wasn't in the game, honestly. Strike. Heater down in the way is a strike from Obero as he gets ahead 0-1. Oh, there's a better way. Okay, do tell, do tell. Change up and away, misses outside from Overo. 1-1. One, one. Come on down in the way, pulled by crowds deep down the left field line into the corner, but Bambino's there for the first out. Beefcake McStevens up next. He homered last at bat. He's driven in his second run of the day. He's now a triple shy of the cycle, still on fire. The ball away, misses from Overo. Ball one. Curveball hangs, blasted by Beefcake, deep to left center field, hit pretty well, tracking back, running out of room is Manzano, he'll make the catch though, two down. Base center for Chase to Bull, catcher is hitless on the air as a pinch hitter, 0 for 1. First pitch Slayer is active. Curveball hangs, lined at the middle on the first pitch, at the base hit. To Bull has his first hit of the year, he's on with two down. Night Owl at Tier 1 gives a boost in the last inning. At Tier 2, the boost comes for the last two innings. And for Tier 3, it comes in the last four and a half innings. Ooh, that's right. Because as the games, if they start in the daytime, then they do, as it progresses, it'll get darker. Nice. I like that. That's a smart way to Im implement that. I'm glad that... I'm, um, that, is a, that is actually really well thought out. I like that. I like that better than just boost to night games straight up, you know. Let's go, Charlie. Heater up and away, taken outside, 1-0. So I'm guessing, um, obviously, it improves your stats by a set number of points. But I'm assuming the way they have it, with it just affecting night games in general, it's just at Tier 1, it's this amount of points. At Tier 2, it's a bigger amount of points. At Tier 3, it's an even bigger amount of points, so on and so forth. But I guess with the uh, extra, with the innings thing, it's just one static rating they get boosted. That's nice. I like that. Lopez hits the first pitch curve, or 1-0 curve, into the center. It's going to go right at Manzano, though, and that ends the inning. Heading to the bottom of the ninth, it's 7-1. Overo, find air, and God send his due up. ABA going for the complete game. And for soaring, same thing, just in the first, first one, two, and four and a half innings. Nice. I like that. That is a pretty well-thought-out strategy for both. I like that. Good ideas. Pinch hitting for Rally Overo here is backup first baseman Ben Cringer. Rally starter active, 500 average here for Ben. Or Kringer, depending on how you pronounce it. You see him up and in, taking high, ball one. Curve ball away, misses outside and low, 2-0. Rally starter is active for Kringer here, Kringer. Heater hits the inside corner, 2-1. Slider up and away. Kringer rips it down the left field line, just foul, 2-2. Okay, collector activates for ABA. Change it down in the way. Chased and fouled off. We'll stay alive at 2 2. Heater up and in. Swim through it, strike three. 11th punch out for ABA. One down. Next up, Find Air. 0 for 3 today. Slider away on the first one. Lined at the middle. Lopez dives out of his reach, and that is a one-out single. And that ends the streak of 24 consecutive batters retired by Ace Von Asen. ABA finally puts a chink in the armor. That is his third hit given up today. Godsend is up one for three with a solo home run today. He's locked in. ABA is still on fire. I'll give him one more batter, but if this batter gets on, we will take him out. I hate him where it was like you get a set boost if it's a night game, so you and day games. I'm sorry, but a two out of all three weather scenarios in this game are day. Soaring Eagle would be broken, so that's why you do it for innings. I like that. That's well thought out. Way to counter that. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's either daytime, like afternoon, or like, you know, sunset-ish. And then um, it's night games, obviously. So... That is a really good way to counteract that because it would have been more so skewed to soaring. Dribble down and in on the first pitch here. Ripped the first over the glove of Studwick. That is into the corner. That is going to be extra bases for possibly Godsendas. Hand gets it in. will hold him to just a single. Runners at the corners with one down. And that is going to do it for Ace Von Asen here today. He goes eight in the third innings, giving up four hits, 
one earned run so far. Both runners on base, his responsibility. He strikes out 11 batters, throws an immaculate inning at one point, and throws retired a string of 24 consecutive batters at one point. Well done today, Ace. You deserve a long, long rest. Could switch out Charlie Lopez here, but I'm not going to. We're going to go ahead and turn it over here to the closer, Walt Huckster, as he's going to come out of the bullpen here and try to slam the door. Huckster appeared back in Game 2 behind Stuby Tubrick. He threw two-thirds of an inning to get us out of that jam late. No runs given up, one hit, uh, one walk actually, a batting average against of zero. He has an ERA of zero and a whip of 150, trying to slam the door. Jason Bambino here, who I believe is hitless today. Or he is, he is one hit, he's one for three. Forcing the middle in on the first pitch, strike call, 0-1. Change it down in the way. Popped him up foul. To bull out of the crouch. There near the batter's circle. Puts it away in front of the platypi dugout. Two down. That is going to bring up Kelby King, who's 0 for 3 today. She stands as the last chance here for the grapplers. Mind Gamer is active for her here. Well down in the way from Huckster. Taken low. Ball one. Eat her up and in. Jammed hard on the ground to short. Lopez to his left, cuts it off, fires across the first in time, and Huckster gets out of the jam in the ninth. Weiss win the game 7 1, the final score behind a great pitching performance from Ace Von Asen, where he very nearly went the distance. Could not have asked for more out of our ace, giving our bullpen a nice day off to rest, basically, minus Huckster, who gets the last two outs of the game in a very low pressure situation. As we bust the game open late with a four run rally in the eighth, we win 7 to 1 today, and we put our division rivals in their place for now, giving them back a losing record. They are now two and three on the year. We improve to four and one. Yeah, batting lines today, RBIs for Kaufman on a two-run double. Studwick had an RBI single. Maury Crowds had a solo home run. Beefcake McStevens had a two-run homer. And Ace Von Asen had an RBI double. On the other side for the Grapplers, a uh, solo home run for Devin Godsendez is their only run of the day. They also only had a combined four hits. Singles for Find Air. Bambino, Godsendez, and Godsendez also had the home run. The outside of their top three batters, no one in their lineup got a hit. It was thoroughly a dominating performance from Ace Von Asen today. ABA earned his stripes and earned his name as Ace. Eight and a third innings today for AVA. He had a quality start, four hits, given up one earned run, 11 strikeouts, one home run. He's the first pitcher in our series to hit double-digit strikeouts. He's the first pitcher to throw an immaculate inning in any of my series here on SMB4, and he retired a string of, at one point, 24 consecutive batters. He improves the 2-0 in the air, and Huckster gets the last two outs of the game without giving up a hit, stranding two inherited runners. On the other side, for the grapplers, Rotonda Black, the rookie, gets roughed up. Four and two-thirds, seven hits, two and runs, a homer. She falls to 0-2. Mac Gunn inning in a third, one hit given up. Maggie Meggles inning in a third, five hits, four and runs given up. As the game got away from her, she gave up a home run. And Rally Overo inning in two-thirds gave up three hits and an earned run as well. Play of the game, Ace Von Asen for his pitching performance, followed by Beefcake with his three-hit day, finishing a triple shy of the cycle, driving in two runs on a homer. And Kitty Kaufman with her three-for-five day, driving in two runs on a double. She finished a home run shy of the cycle. GG's, GG's. Thank you, one boy. Thank you. Appreciate it. A thoroughly dominating win today. We love to see that. We love to see it. Heck, we didn't even turn a double play today because Ace only gave up four fucking hits. <laughs> Nice. Quick game, too. Quick game. Kept it under an hour today. Nice. All right, so now we got to look at potential roster moves because I did say we were looking at some guys if their prices got low enough, right? Also, because he ain't here, Sir Lawai, you are a bitch and a coward. Fight me in real life. <laughs> okay, now that's some fighting words there. <laughs> All right, Cartman or Thomas? Um, who wants to be the face here? Uh, Thomas, he's performed better this year, and he's more valuable to the organization than Cartman is. So it would make more sense for him to be on the cover. And that's it. Looking around the league, we do not have our first roster move made yet. And there is Shanaval. Welcome in, Shanaval. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Just missed the game today. We blew out the Grapplers 7-1. to one. Uh, Rodriguez, plus five arm. Nice. I wish it was fielding, but I'll take what I can get. He talks shit behind my back, so I'm going to do it to him. All right, all right. GG's. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, so Rodriguez also plus five power. She's now maxed out in that category. All right. I see you, Sky. I see you. 
Uh, Torque plus five contact in the free agent pool. He boosts himself up to a B plus. We are looking at him rather heavily to be involved in the team moving down the line, but I believe he is a long way away from being signed, unfortunately, so it's going to be a while. Looks like no salary developments this week, so we probably won't be signing anybody more than likely. Let me just check here real quick on the valuation side of things. And uh, yes, no one really moved in their salary moves. Uh, El Dorino did. He went down a third of a thing. Oh, you know why? Because I have the uh, news for the salary deductions turned off. Cuffingham still sitting at 0.3 negative. We're still waiting for her to get down to 0.5. Uh, due to El Dorino, I'm leaning away from because there are other first basemen we can go after here. Uh, namely, uh, guys like uh, who... Obviously, OVO, Ottavon Olio would be a decent backup first baseman, even though he can't field. There's also, of course, where the other first baseman here, uh, Seb Swolson, who is a long way away from being signed, as you saw how well he's doing in our free agent franchise rebuild. And then there's also Dwayne Butterfinger, who I've never used in any rebuild yet to this point. So I would like to maybe potentially bring him in as well. It's okay, one boy. It's just a game. I wasn't trying that hard. I should have won. You put tape on the monitor. The lag was awful. Oh, boy. What did you do this time? All right. We're looking good so far, it looks like. No one's ready to sign yet. Takobi is 0.2 over his valuation. He's a C+. Plus. We can definitely get him down to negative 0.5. So no rush to get him either. All right, so no roster moves here today, guys. I thought maybe we'd be making our first one today, but not yet. Oh, inside joke. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right, let's sim up to the next one here. Nemesis taking on the Buzzards here. Nemesis are going to win 7-4 to four as they uh, hand the Buzzards their first loss of the season. Freebooters choke it away to the Jacks. They were up 4 nothing and drop it 6-4. to four. Great job, Boots, as always living up to the name. Moonstars win in 10 innings, 4-3 to three over the Grass Eaters as they still remain winless at 0-5. We'd love to see that. Sirloins beat the Sandcats in a pitcher's duel. Moose then blow out the Sawteeth, 8-1. to one. Overdogs hang on to beat the Crocs and outslug them, 10 to 7. Crocs fall to 1 and 5 on the year. Hot Corners beat the Sirloins, 8 to 4. Blowfish up, He'll sh they will shut out the Moonstars, 6 0. And Wide Loads taking on the Beat Wolves here. Wide Loads are going to blow them out, 12 to 3, the final score. All right, so we're still in first place in the division at 4-1, and, and next episode will be our first matchup of the year against the Heaters. We will be on the road, and we are going to be debuting our alternates in this game because I do like the Heaters' alternate jerseys, so I've already made that decision. I also would have accepted the Nemesis as an um, alternate jersey debut thing, which we will get to do because we'll be at home for that game. Love that. Might also do the wide loads. I do. I am quite, Oh, I do like the Crocs and the wide loads as well. We might do alternates for those back-to-back -back games as well. All right, so next episode, after we do player development first real quick, let's see, what do we got? Cartman, not leaning towards doing this one. Same with Sandbrick, I'm just not feeling it. Shirley Indiers is the best so far down the list. Chase Tabool, I'm not looking to upgrade a 37-year-old backup catcher. Hugh Jacobs, 29 years old. Reverse splits would make him possibly usable out of the bullpen, but it's only a minimum boost. Is it really worth it at that point for a 29-year-old? Probably not. Slugger aid for Studwick, not looking to upgrade a 38-year-old. We have two games on this one for Jacobs. Let's get this one for India. This is really the only one that's worth me buying at the current moment. One accuracy to 7-3, one velo to 57. Going for bonus three accuracy, not going to get it. Going for the screwball, though, 10% chance. We're going to get it as India gets her fifth pitch. Nice. Plus 30 loyalty as well, up to 80 now in that category. She now has a five-pitch mix. Nice. Good job, Shirley. Good job. Yet to make her debut for us, though, so the rookie will probably debut at some point here in the near future. She should. She's the only reliever we haven't used yet this season. Actually, I believe she's the only pitcher we haven't used this year and the only like player off the bench that hasn't been used in like any capacity. She can hit the broad and narrow sides of a barn. Nice. All right, well, that is next episode. We're going to be taking on the Heaters, where we'll be debuting alternate jerseys for ourselves. Stubby Tubrick will be on the mound. He has got a no decision in his first start. Gave a, has a 6 ERA and a 133 whip. I believe he went five innings, giving up three runs, if I remember correctly. And on the mound for the Heaters is going to be left-hander Bishop Fuller, the veteran. No record, a 476 ERA and a 141 whip. Lineup we'll be using, leading off at second base, will be Kitty Kaufman. Batting second at first base is Muffin Studwick. Batting third in left field will be Rory Crowds. Batting fourth is on fire third baseman Beefcake McStevens. Batting fifth is going to be the catcher, Char Tugboat Thomas. 
Batting sixth is a shortstop, Charlie Lopez. Batting seventh is going to be right fielder, tense Hera Wugliams. And batting eighth is going to be tense center fielder, Willie Bacon, with Stuby Tubrick being on the mound, batting number nine. And we will be wearing our alternates for that game, which means we'll also have to put the heaters in their alternates as well, which I like. I like both these alternates, really. All right, that will be a thing for next episode, though, guys. A uh, quick recap for this episode today. That is going to do it for us here. Uh, we blew out the Grapplers today, 7-1 to one the final score. We had a dominant pitching performance from Ace Von Asen. He went 8 in the third innings, barely threw, almost threw a complete game shutout. He threw a four-hitter, striking a retiring at one point 24 batters in a row and he struck out 11 batters he's the first pitcher in our series to hit double digit strikeouts and he also threw an immaculate inning he's the first pitcher in any of my series here on smb4 to do that so congrats ace and we also got a couple home runs we got to debut the home run call here as both roy crowds hit a bomb in the first inning and then beefcake mcstevens put one out over the wall in the eighth inning as well in that route so yeah we got that debuted on there Next episode, we are taking on our division rivals, the Heaters, for the first time here in the series. We'll see how we match up against the Speed Demons. If you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Uh, quick shout outs to Shanable and One Boy for tuning in and chatting with me throughout the stream. Love hearing from you guys as always. And thank you, thank you, GGs, to both of you for sticking around. I'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Until then, this is the Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be. Have a good night, guys.